Hi everybody, this is Felicia, and I'm here with a little bit of a different video today. Um, this video is for uh, the design team I'm trying to submit, or it's a submission to the design team for the Crafty Maven. And that's why you saw that little inspirational piece there in the beginning. And so I'm not very comfortable with paints, as I've told you before in the past, but I am attempting to do this technique here with these paints using some cut up sponges. Now, I used to do this when I was a kid and I definitely loved it at that time, but as an adult, I kind of got away from using um, paints and using this kind of a technique um, throughout my life. So I'm using some Claudine Helmuth paints here along with some golden acrylic paints here. And I've had those Claudine Helmuth paints for a long time. So, I, and they did not dry up. So I'm using them now. And I forgot what colors they were, but these are the colors that I'm going to be using because they match pretty much almost the same colors that are in the photo that I'm going to be using. So as you can see, I've pretty much did the painting here fairly quickly here with the sponges. And I'm dabbing on some white to give it some um, tech. I guess um, what you would call it um, I'm, I'm losing my brain thoughts here <laughs> anyway some texture and then I'm going to take some of this Heidi swap gold and leave some gold circles around here using a kind of like a sponge dabber you can't really see it that well but it's on there and once I get it all dry you can see it a little bit better there and I'm gonna dab some too as well so the paper that I'm doing this technique on is watercolor paper. And I decided to use it and I cut it down for 12 by 12. I decided to use this because it absorbs the paint better and I don't have to put gesso or anything like that on there. And it barely, it rarely warps. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. And so I'm cutting off some of the edge here, about 1 8 of an inch off of each side here because I'm going to mat this so that it holds more steady on some uh, basil cardstock. But before I do that, of course, I gotta distress the edges to give it um, some texture and, and some interest. And I'm using my Tim Holtz distress tool to do that with. I'm going around all the edges there. So now that I'm done with that, to clean off my area there, I've matted it and then there's the photo. Now this photo is a photo of salads. I love salads, I don't know why, but I do. I eat lots of them, and I also make my own dressing from time to time, depending on um, if I have enough time. Some dressings you have to do them in advance, but for the most part, I do make my own dressings from time to time. Um, what I'm using here to layer and put behind is a lot of vellum because I want the vellum to be seen through the paint. I mean, I'm sorry, I want the paint to be seen through the vellum. So I'm using some vellum for this and I am going to be using some vellum pieces here. And those are all from, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me, but those are all from the Tim Holtz Infremer pack. And it's nothing but vellum in that pack, and that was cool. <laughs> so I decided to get that, and I got that from um, Hobby Lobby. So I'm using some of the pieces there from that ephemera pack to layer behind this photo. And then I'm also using smaller strips of colored paper because I didn't want all of that paint to be covered up. So definitely wanted to be seen. Now, like I said, I'm not very comfortable with using paints and I uh, decided to go ahead and do it this time. Um, but we'll see what happens. Sorry there, the voiceover cut off on me there right in the middle here. Anyway, so um, painting is something that I'd have to get used to doing. So I really got to do, oh, I have to do more layouts with paint. So that that's the only way I'm going to get comfortable with it. So, so now I'm sticking some of these little strips of cardstock here um, throughout the layout and I'm also going to be putting that little piece of die cut there so I can journal and then I'm going to be layering a few things over here on top of that as well and I'm getting that together so that I can do some journaling and so what I like about doing this whole process is that I got to use the paint and then I got to kind of 
use the colors that I wanted and then I kind of got to layer the paint so I thought that was a cool process to do and I try not to cover so much of it up when I'm started putting this together so there's another little die cut there and I decided to put that on there because of a little heart and then I started starting to layer a little bit more pieces here on this layout here I wanted to really capture the um, the use of the paint in the background so that's why I'm starting to use a lot of this smaller layers and all close together to the, towards the photo there area um, the vellum is so that you can still see the paint and that's one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and use this Tim Holtz ephemera packs with all the vellum in it now I'm gluing down some wood veneer stars that I've had in my stash for probably a few years now and for some reason they're not staying down so I have to use my glossy accents to get them to stay down so I'm putting that on the back of each one of those wood veneer stars and what I also decided to do was once I put the wood veneer stars down was I decided to use my um, Wink Costello which you'll see me use and it really didn't do very much it just it didn't show very much I don't know it's, it's, if it's because of the wood itself or it's just because I don't know <laughs> so anyway you'll see me start to use that and here I'm using some washi tape here and I think that's Recollections brand and it's a gold like really sparkly um, what you call glittery washi tape and I just cut it in half and I put half at the bottom there and I'm going to be putting the other half um, at the top of the layout so I'm cutting the acetate banners that down here in a banner form and I'm putting them down at the bottom there to start the second cluster uh, for the bottom half of that layout there or the bottom corner and I'm using my Tim Holtz tiny attacher to attach the pieces to give it interest because I first I was going to glue them down but then I'm like you know what let me go ahead and do something different so I decided to go ahead and staple all of those acetate pieces at the bottom and I'm sorry you didn't get a chance to see it kind of went off the page there and I'm using some of the glue zots to put behind the vellum and the cool part about the vellum is that you don't see the uh, glue behind the Tim Holtz ephemera vellum it was it was pretty cool I like that so right now I am journaling about how much I loved salads I make my own salads I bring them to work and bring you know like the tomatoes separate and the cucumbers separate and whatever else I'm putting out I put them all in little separate little containers and then when I get to work I just pull out the greens and then I throw the vegetables on top so there you see me trying to use that Winkostella for some reason it just wasn't working it came out but it didn't show up on the wood veneer like I wanted it to I've used it in the past on wood veneer and it showed up fine but some reason they didn't do it on uh, these wood veneers that I've had sitting in maybe they dried out or something who knows <laughs> so now I'm using some thickers and these thickers look like typewriter keys and they're gold and I had to use the glossy accents as well because I had to paint on top to glue those down because they wouldn't stick I'm not super in love with this particular thicker set here for this title but it was the only one that I could get that would stand out a little bit here um, other than black and I didn't want black on there because I, it would have took away from the look of the layout altogether so I'm getting, getting all of those glued down there they look like little typewriter keys I tell you old school typewriter keys so I'm gluing them all down there and what I what I'm trying to do here is kind of stagger them out so that they're not just directly on top of each other and I end up with some space underneath which I'm going to take care of here with a couple of arrows so I got those all glued down and the title says healthy salad and I'm using some doodle bug arrows enamel arrows I'm going to use one in yellow and then one in green and you can see here at the end so I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope this inspirational piece here will help. Um, so thank you guys and take care. Bye.